Each drawer in a washing machine has three compartments, but not everyone knows what they are for. One mistake can affect your laundry. If you use detergent pods, you might not use the detergent drawer at all. So, take a look at the drawer in your washing machine. Do you know which compartment is for what? There are always two compartments with lines and one compartment with a flower symbol. These lines are the Roman numerals 1 and 2. The compartment with the number 1 is for the pre-wash detergent. Most people never use the pre-wash cycle, so they don't use this compartment. The compartment with the flower is for fabric softener. If you use fabric softener, you pour it in here. Compartment number two is for the main wash detergent. This is where you pour liquid detergent or put in powder. It has an additional feature that makes it easier to use different types of detergent. More and more often, it has a small compartment that is movable. When you use powder detergent, the compartment should be raised. If you want to pour in liquid detergent, then this compartment should close off the part with the liquid. This way, the liquid won't spill out of the washing machine if the drawer is pulled out too far. Each compartment, therefore, has a specific use. Take a look at your washing machine and check if you are using the compartments in its drawer correctly. Throw them into the washing machine and start the wash cycle as usual. Place your laundry in the drum and add two hair rollers. Put them between the items in the washing machine drum. Add a detergent capsule and wash the clothes together with the rollers. Give it a try once and you'll never stop. Since I started doing this, it's become my favorite way to do laundry, especially for dark clothes. Various threads and tiny lint always stick to dark fabrics. Every tiny hair is visible on dark materials. If you have pets, this problem is even bigger. Dog or cat hair is always visible on black clothes. They're on everything. You surely use a lint roller and hair roller to remove hair and fur. However, this often isn't enough. Even after washing, there are still threads, lint, hair, and fur on clothes. But there's a simple solution to this. Hair rollers are perfect for this. They are made of Velcro, which catches everything. They collect hair and fur from clothes very well. Just throw them into the laundry together with the items. Instead of on clothes, all these tiny debris will be on the rollers after washing. When you try this trick with hair rollers, the problem of hair and fur on clothes will disappear. Take a stocking and put it on your hand. This trick will ensure that you never again have damaged clothes after taking them out of the washing machine. If your clothes have pulled threads after washing, you're probably wondering what's causing it. Often, you don't remember if the threads were pulled before washing. You don't know if the washing machine is damaging and tearing your clothes. So, you're afraid to wash delicate clothes and sweaters in the machine to avoid damaging them. Lace lingerie, tablecloths, and curtains. Are precious to you? Are you even worried about stockings? Maybe you've already started washing all these things by hand, and it's wasting a lot of your time. However, pulled threads on clothes often make them no longer wearable. They can't always be repaired. So you'll simply have to throw away items that get snagged. That's why it's always good to have stockings on hand. You'll quickly find that the problem of pulled threads disappears. Take some stockings that you no longer wear. I never throw such stockings away. I use them for many things. For example, I'll show you a simple trick now. Put the stocking on your hand. It must not be torn. It must be intact. Do this before putting clothes into the washing machine. With the stocking on your hand, wipe the edge of the drum. Rub the entire drum with the stocking. Thoroughly wipe every nook and cranny of the drum, including those edges inside the drum. Now, check the stocking. If it's intact, nothing has snagged it, it means your washing machine is working correctly. It's not the one damaging your clothes. If there are runs on the stockings, you'd quickly locate the place responsible for the holes and pulled threads in clothes. Did you know this trick? Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Tip for washing shoes in the washing machine. Whenever I wash shoes in the washing machine, I always add one more thing to the drum. This prevents them from getting damaged. Thanks to this, Washing them in the machine is no problem. You don't have to wash sneakers or sports shoes by hand. It's a tedious and time-consuming task. With such footwear, like sneakers or other sports shoes, the washing machine handles it perfectly, especially when the sports shoes are white. Even if the washing machine doesn't have a program for washing sports shoes, you can do it without worry. You can wash most of such shoes and fabric footwear in the machine, 
but not leather ones. This trick is also perfect for old sports shoes, especially white ones that you were thinking of throwing away. Wash them in the machine, and you'll surely still wear them. When washing shoes in the machine, choose a program for delicate fabrics and the lowest temperature. Maximum 40 degrees. The best part is that you can easily wash even just one pair of shoes, and you can spin them without any problems. However, choose the lowest spin speed, put the shoes in the washing machine, and add one more thing, a towel is best, preferably a thick terry one. Put it in together with the shoes for washing. You can even use two towels, then it will fulfill its role even better. The towel prevents the shoes from moving too much in the drum. The shoes won't rub against each other and the inside of the washing machine edges. With towels in the drum, you can easily spin the shoes without any worries. If you have laundry bags, you can place the shoes in them. Then washing them in the machine will be less invasive. Did you know about this towel trick? Do you wash shoes in the washing machine? Let me know in the comments. Throw ice into the dryer and wrinkles on clothes will disappear. This trick will be loved by people who hate ironing clothes. When your clothes have visible wrinkles, you can address this issue easily and without using an iron. Ironing clothes is a hassle and a waste of time for many people. They just don't want to take out the ironing board and turn on the iron. But if you have a dryer or a washer dryer at home, you're in luck. Take your wrinkled clothes with visible creases. They often appear if we keep folded clothes in the closet instead of hanging them on hangers. Sometimes wrinkles appear if we don't take out the dry laundry immediately. Put three to five such items into the drum, add a handful of ice cubes, start the drying cycle for about 15 minutes. During this time, the moisture from the ice cubes will eliminate wrinkles while the dryer is working. Clothes will be smooth without ironing. Depending on the fabric, you'll see the effect immediately after taking them out of the dryer. Just 10 or 15 minutes is often enough for the dryer to iron your clothes for you. All thanks to a few ice cubes. Hydraulics are alarming. Most people use laundry capsules incorrectly, leading to internal damage in washing machines. You won't Improperly used capsules can clog pipes, filters, and even damage our clothes. All because of one detail that unfortunately most of us don't know. Capsules appeared in stores a few years ago and quickly became a sales hit. A portion of laundry detergent is placed in a water-soluble coating. It is this coating that can cause a huge problem. You can only use them when you set the washing machine program to the appropriate temperature. The capsule doesn't dissolve properly at too low a temperature. Its residue can build up in the water drainage pipes, creating sludge. This is later responsible for the unpleasant smell coming from the washing machine. Plumbers call this the foul side effect of using capsules. See what happens to the capsule when we use it at a temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. For the purposes of this experiment, we put it in a jar. After 15 minutes, the coating still hasn't dissolved in the water. This is evidence that capsules won't work well during short washing cycles either. Their residues will certainly accumulate in the pipes and on clothes. The situation is different at temperatures above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The capsule dissolves completely. When using capsules, remember to set the washing machine to a higher temperature and longer washing time. Do you often use capsules? Did you know how to use them correctly?